Employment solutions, specifically for females who are already disadvantaged, and disadvantaged for a couple of reasons. Number one, the main thing, childcare. They're the ones who end up having to take care of the families. And secondly, the occupations they go into also present a deficit for income. For example, construction jobs, which usually pay very, very well, guess how many? 4% are females. Joining us now, Bianca Cervantes, who says, not good enough, we want to train the female to be the boss. We want to train the female to go into finance. We want to train the female to work at a construction site and get $25 an hour. Absolutely. So where do we begin? So now let's talk solutions. Well, I'm glad you asked. We have a Women's Equality Committee start child care center. Wait a second, so if you have your mom or your aunt who is helping you watch your child, they can apply and get paid for helping you while you're working or looking for a job? Absolutely, whether you're working, getting training and education, any of those things. So if you qualify for the program, you can bring on your relative to apply and take care of your kids. You wanna make things equal. That could be a potential equalizer. And so even if they wanted to put them into a child care facility, that's fine too. You'll also provide funds for that. Yes, we'll provide funds and we'll ensure beyond that that it's a quality child care center. So it's, it's early childhood education. It's not just somebody watching your kid, it's somebody also enriching your child. Okay, so solution number one for working mom, single mom, child care. Let's get that. And Workforce Solutions, Borderplex, you've got a plan. We've got a plan and we'll also say, so let's say that your mom lost her job. Well, we just employed her by her becoming your child caretaker. Brilliant. Double Brilliant. whammy. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's talk about this wage disparity. And this drives you crazy because you said at the rate we're going, how many years is it going to take before females are on par with men for what they make? The non-magic number is 200 years. At the rate that we're going, Robert, That's I will That's probably not... gonna be a little longer than we're around. <laughs> Hopefully we're still around. <laughs> With robotics, we might be, but we, it'll be 200 years before a woman is making the same amount of a man, as a man with all of these issues in gender inequality addressed. Let's talk about construction. 4% are female. Okay, granted it takes some physical labor, but women can do physical labor too. They just need the training. So how do you answer that? We actually have a program. Uh, we have two separate programs starting with our committee. The first one is Nailed It. It's funded by Bank of America and they're helping us. Nailed with, it. Nailed it. Yeah, we're going to bring that woman's spin into it, but we're actually bringing in some women. We're educating them on how to do handiwork, how that they can actually go and fix the leaky, the leaky faucet in their restroom, whatever. We, we can help you fix that. We're going to teach you how to fix those things. So we're going to educate them with the skills and then we're going to try to place them in jobs. We're going to bring in contractor businesses and vouch for the women that we're training. So my, that's one of our programs. My Plumber Larry says you can make $100,000 a year as a plumber. He just can't find people that will learn it and get their hands a little dirty. I'll bet a lot of ladies would like to do that. Hire Lori, not Larry. Yes, that's great. You're just, she is the queen of catchy phrases. Nailed it. All right, now, Bianca, uh, you'd mentioned the industry of finance. It's a male dominated uh, industry, and it also pays very well. Very lucrative. And what your solution. We are developing a program right now where we want to bring in young females and teach them the world of investing and finance and understanding what they can do with their investments so that they can also spread the word and teach other women about how to invest so that we can bring more women into that that industry, but also teach them empowerment, teach them leadership. So aside from just training, we're gonna take it a level up, Robert. We're bringing in a life coach element, an assertive communication element. We're gonna teach these babes how to be bosses. I love it. Bianca, thank you so much. Thank you to Workforce Solutions Borderplex. If you want more information, you go to our website, ktsm.com. Click on that Studio 9 tab.